recently been looking at an old analog test meter, multimeter that I've had for many, many years and wanting to get it back to full operation. Uh, here's the, the meter itself. Uh, as you can see, it's analog, it's a nice compact meter and quite robust as well. But the only problem is with a lot of these meters that they need uh, a battery for uh, to be able to operate on the ohms range. And the batteries that uh, this meter needs are two non-standard batteries these days. Uh, one is a U10, which gives one and a half volts, and the other is a, a B121, uh, which gives 15, and, uh, 15 volts. And that's used for the high voltage or the high uh, ohms range, uh, the uh, uh, 10,000 uh, R range. So what I wanted to do was to try and get this back into operation again. And I've not been able to use these ranges for, for many years, but looking around on the internet, I've been able to get both of these batteries. Uh, the B121 is uh, actually, a, I think it's been uh, 3D printed, and it contains a number of little 1.5 uh, button cells, uh, which is really nice, and uh, those can be replaced. The other one is, is not the, the old, uh, zinc carbon battery, but uh, an alkali battery, which means it'll be a lot, lot uh, better uh, for use in terms of uh, leaking. The, the old uh, zinc carbon batteries always used to leak, uh, but even so, you've still got to be uh, careful with those. So let's have a look. Uh, I've got the uh, package over here. Uh, let's, let's just uh, break into this and we'll see what that is like. Um, I'll take out all the, the information and uh, yeah there's the, the battery. Uh, you can just about see it there. Yep. And I've got the B121 sitting over there. Uh, it's quite a uh, an unusual battery so uh, yeah let's see see what we can do. We'll take the uh, test meter apart or open the battery compartment and see whether uh, these fit nicely and whether we can get it to work. So here's the meter. If we turn it over, we can see these uh, screws here, which we need to undo to get into the battery compartment. Quite easily done. In fact, if we just take those out far enough, we might even be able to slide that out, but not sure whether that'll happen. Yeah. Take that off. In fact, you can see there's a, an old piece of silver foil in there that I used uh, with a, a, a double A battery. And the markings uh, are plus and minus. So you can just see that on the top. Oh, and that looks as though it's going to slot in really, will it go in? Yeah, there we are, slots in nicely. And we want positive there, negative on that. Put that in there. And then we'll just have to get the test leads. Let's tighten that up. So we've got the test leads and we're just plug those in. Black for negative, red for positive, and we'll turn it on to the zero ohms range and just see whether it, oh yes, deflects over very nicely and we'll adjust it. Woo. Obviously it's not been used for some while so the potentiometer is a little bit dirty but that, that'll be able to get that. Adjust that later, put that onto the 10,000 ohm range and again yeah we let's see we get full scale deflection and that is now zeroed so that we can use that on the 10,000 ohm. Yay! That makes me really happy that the <laughs> they keep uh, crossing over. Yeah that uh, this meter is now fully operational again. Really good news. 
So it just really shows what you can do. Um, you can get batteries for these old meters. And even if you had thought some while ago that you might not be able to source them, they're out there. Just look around on the internet and, and you can find them. I was particularly pleased with the 15 volt battery, the B121, uh, that had the little button cells, the uh, 1.5 volt button cells in them because uh, they won't leak, I think, uh, particularly uh, much. And also, um, they will. I'll be able to replace those as well as and when, and I'll still have the uh, the holder. So really good news. If you need any more information about meters and other things, then just head over to the description area, and please don't forget to watch more of our videos, like this video, and please will you subscribe to our channel? Thank you very much.